over here. There's Liz. Hey, Liz. Hey there. How is it going tonight? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> good, good. So we chatted a little earlier today about what was going on in the wedding world with uh, brides and couples and what you've been doing with them. Um, so tell me a little bit about how you've been helping, helping them out. Well, we've, it's, it's really been just so many different levels of things that we didn't expect. I had everything from invitations that were printed and then everything shut down like two weeks before we went to set them out. Um, to I, I have couples that have been booking for the fall because this is the time when they need to do their invitations and you know I'm just handling it uh, with every single one of my clients personally um, just helping them with whatever they need uh, a lot of this has to rely on what their venue is able to do you know if they're going to be able to reschedule are they uh, postponing it to next year have they changed their June or May wedding to something in the, the fall? Um, and what I've been really offering my couples is uh, little inserts to go into their invitations or postcards uh, that just kind of relay the information that, uh, that their guests need. Nice, that's awesome. Yeah. So, um, so when uh, the bride has to uh, reschedule with a venue or look at different dates. How are you handling those? Um, well, I, I did have some July weddings that, uh, you know, are, are having to reschedule. So, you know, what we're doing right now is sending out um, a change the date postcard, kind of mm. like a save the date. It's like a, oops, you know what? We, you know, <laughs> plans have changed. <laughs> I love it. Yep. <laughs> That's so, a great thing to do. And that's that's fairly simple, right? Yeah, it's fairly simple. And I'm just making it really cost effective for my couples um, because I know, you know, sometimes if, you know, you, you can't get a deposit back or, you know, somebody isn't available on that day, like that can just add, you know, so much stress. Um, it's a lot easier for me to be accommodating because I don't have to physically be there for the day. We're working like behind the scenes a couple months before, you know, all of the magic happens. Right. Um, yeah. So I've just been offering, you know, at a, a pretty discounted rate, some postcards just so that, you know, couples are able to get the information out as quickly and efficiently as possible. That's awesome. So what kind of uh, time frame is there that they need to work with or be aware of, so to say? Yeah, so, you know, traditionally you want to send your invitations out about, <clears throat> excuse me, like two months in advance. So, you know, you have enough time to get your replies back and then order your, your day of goods, uh, like place cards, get your speeding chart, you know, together and, and everything ordered. So that way you can get it to your venue on time for the day of, um, you know, so I've been working with some of my brides that, you know, are just trying to push it as, as far, you know, ahead in the future as we can. Um, another alternative to, uh, to avoid uh, postage, like, you know, stuff coming back through the mail is having some of the replies either have like an email address or texting them that, yes, I can go, no, I can't, um, using wedding websites uh, to track their RSVPs, you know, just kind of using all the technology that's available. And what's really nice is that I can help them send, you know, the the traditional RSVP, R RSVP to, you know, the grandma and the aunts and stuff that want to do it the more traditional way. But, you know, for your college roommate, like, they can text you whether they're coming or not. Oh, totally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my mom texts and if she, and, yeah. and she's even got emojis. So if you can do that, I mean, most people can do that. So I think that's a great idea. So yeah, have you been so it's using... really easy. You can order, you know, 10 one way and 20 the other, you know, so it's, it makes it simple. Yeah. So even on the change the dates, you could throw that in there. Like, hey, here's the new date. Text us back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's why, you know, it's, it's nice to have that wedding website, too, that you can even put on there so that they can kind of, you know, stay up to date. I know I've even had brides that have, you know, specific, like, Facebook groups that, um, you know, their, their guests can go on to and, and join so right right oh that's fantastic that's great so how do couples stay in touch with Liz at graphic poetry through the chaos 
<laughs> so I'm on Instagram and it's GP as in graphic poetry, GP invitations. Uh, and that's also my website is gpinvitations.com and I'm also on Facebook too. That's awesome. So Instagram is a great place to be able to see a lot of your work, I'm sure. Oh yeah, definitely. Go ahead and follow me. And uh, I, I have lots of um, stationery and stuff on there that you can even browse through if you're looking for some inspiration for uh, you know your upcoming ceremony and wedding. Awesome. That's fantastic. Well, thanks for joining us tonight, Liz. I, I really appreciate it.